being selected in my second Olympic team is just awesome. Um, it's another step that I've made towards this massive dream of just chasing down the Olympics and being the best athlete that I can be. Um, so I'm super, super excited to be announced in the team and cannot wait to, well, it's a long way from now, but still working hard all the way through to Tokyo. Off you go, captains. Would you like to hand it over to Mr. Bird Smith, please? Thank you very much. You Let's give him on? a big clap at our captains. Well right. done. Thank you. Today we're out here at Rainworth State School. This is my old primary school, so it brings back a lot of fantastic memories. This, this is a really special place for me because this is where I really, where I grew up and I nurtured my competitive spirit. Um, from preschool all the way through to year seven, I won every single year and that's where I had that drive that I hated losing and I had to push myself as hard as I could every time. Just making it to Tokyo next year will be absolutely amazing. There's been so many obstacles along the way and it's something that means so much to be able to represent your country and for me to be able to do it for a second time and step up on the world stage, I just, I just cannot wait. I can't wait for that feeling of just getting amongst it and racing against the best in the world. The goal now for Tokyo, you know, it's got to be to just race as hard as I can. You know, medals are amazing and I would love to stand on that dais again and that's what we chase. But uh, it's got to just be competing for yourself and enjoying what you do. So that's what it is for me is I really just want to have as much fun and soak up the whole Tokyo environment as much as possible.